What's Happening Hoax Show is filmed before a live audience and is brought to you by Rockfish Motor Speedway, The Rock of Hoax, Nunboys.com, and GPS Photography and Video. GPS Photo and Video. What's Happening Hoax? We're back. Time to talk sports, Hal. It's getting close, man. Man, I tell you what. Like I said, streaming on the YouTube channel now. You got the Midnight you need Madness to check video. Check out those videos. Uh, that was also, a good I'm job. about to put up your interview with Quinn Maynard. Okay. Uh, that you talked to him out there, so that'll be up tonight as well. Quinn, so, Quinn's looking pretty sharp. You know, we talked about his brother, man. His brother, we used to lay Joe was out. Quinn, and, uh, Quinn he, will lay one on you. He's right in the same mold. Yeah. Look, needs a little more weight on him. But you know, when you're playing safety, he's usually doing cleanup. Right. Because right. he was the outside linebacker, they moved him to safety. Right. So that'll be interesting. And he's got the height. So, again, you know, that over the top help that we needed last year that we didn't have. Yeah. And be, we got a new defensive back coach from Scotland County. Hey, yeah. I'm excited about the defense. But I, I, do we have a kicker? You know, we're talking about a quarterback. Do we have a kicker, man? Special teams. Critical part of the game. I'm a firm believer that they. I'm a, I'm a believer that they should reach down and find one of those kids in the soccer program. A lot of other oh, schools sorry. do that. But you know what? And the they bring the soccer man. kicker up that can really put the ball down. And then they didn't show up on Friday night. Well, what yeah. happened was uh, he had a soccer game. Is it? Yeah. You know, well, no. Well, sometimes they, I don't think soccer plays on Friday. But what was happening is some Perry. coaches, not Tom Paris, some uh -huh. coaches didn't want them to do both. I think in today's age, you gotta let kids do a little bit of both. Well, what if he gets hurt on Thursday night? Which is a soccer game. You better Thursday, have a right? backup kicker. Exactly. <laughs> you better have a plane. Right. Uh, I ain't got no heartburn. You know what I mean? Okay. Remember when Crowder won that game against Westover a couple years back? Field goal. 14, 14 field goal. Mm -hmm. It's critical, man. Remember when? Well, Josh Wright, he was our kicker, but he was yeah, not really true. Back, kicker. Yeah, but it's but he kicked, he won the playoff. Game. The special teams is up critical. in the mountains. Yeah. It's critical. Yeah. I wish I had seen that game. Yeah. I was, I was on the Anyway, on. Let's, let's stop reminiscing. Oh, uh, the real deal. All right, let me talk a little bit about the SEC media day that we had this past Sunday. Uh, and they came out with the preseason poll. I forgot to ask you about that. Oh, boy. Let me ask you what well, your opinion just, is. Let yes. me ask you your initial Before you opinion. say the poll, okay. let me take a guess. All right. Coke County is picked to finish fifth. Okay. Yep. That was just a guess. The coaches poll. That was just a guess. Man. media poll. All that right. was just a guess. Fifth was Hope County. Who's picked to finish sixth? You can guess that one. Pernell Sweat? Okay, Pernell Sweat. Dude, I... Who's picked to win it all? <sighs> Scott. Okay, Scott. Here's the kicker. This is where it comes into a bit. In 2015, Southeastern Conference, who was picked to finish second? Richmond. Not Richmond. A fine press? Both well, polls. Let's, let's be clear. Pine press has been coming. We, we've seen that last four years, five years, ever since they got the coach out of Florida, mm -hmm. ever since they were about to just fold up the tent on the program yep. and counsel it. They've been coming, man. They got, mm -hmm. we always said it looked like a small college campus over there. They got the boosters, they got the money, and they got the facilities. So, hey, good on them. But it, it, it's just a poll. You know what? Oh, it's just I love it. To talk about. I love when Hope County is considered an underdog and counsels out. I, I, I love it. I mean, I love it too. Because but the highest just, we finished fuel. in the last ten years has been second or uh, third place. So we didn't my, finish fifth. Well, I know, but I mean, I well, think, in my opinion, what I've seen in the workouts that change, were better than when fifth. you change coaches every thirty-six months. We talked about this. Yeah, yeah. Your program dips. Well, uh, the thing that Vans I see, you got to have some long do it, longevity and some continuity. We have three middle schools now. It's going to take some time to let that take effect. Uh, we're on the right track. You got a great staff. We just have to see what happens. The other choice that threw a lot of people off was in one poll, in third place, Richmond was picked. Mm -hmm. In third place, and Lumberton was picked. Well, here's the thing. Well, Lumberton's did they pick, got a little bit did of momentum. Richmond, because Richmond has a new coach coming in this year. I'm assuming that that's what people are Does Lumberton have a new coach too? No, Mike Setzer is in his second He's in the second year. Big guy, real big guy. Now, Pernell Sweat's got a new coach. Pernell Sweat has John Sherman. I don't know where he came from before. Was he that last year? No, he replaced Mark okay. Kyle. Okay, he yeah, yeah Mark Kyle. So, and Mark was a great guy. Yeah. I think Mark sort of got frustrated uh, with, the, with the leadership in the school, and maybe the leadership sort of got frustrated with him that their team well, wasn't doing as well. You don't know what you're missing until it's done. Mark well, they had a coach. great story about one of his players that went to uh, uh, Virginia, Virginia Union. Virginia Union. Jake Runnin'. Yeah. I, uh, so, I mean, hey, 
Burning up sweat. You know, we've always been competitive with us, they're always complaining, so you don't know what what you missed was done. I'm excited about Hope County. I see the polls, the SEC uh, media poll and the coaches poll. In the coaches poll, but I mean that means Coach Parrish had the vote. Yep. I wonder what he voted. Every, it was anonymous. So they no, voted anonymous. You can ask him. He might not tell. He might not tell. Let me ask you this, uh, we had media day and they got scrimmages coming up. Yes, he don't want to scrimmage on back to back days. Well, right I now, agree with that. Well, yeah, I mean the thing about it, you talk. This is a week before kicking off the season. So I think one to be careful. Is two scrimmages is enough. One Three, would have been bad. You know, you need more than one. But anything after that, because keep in mind, it's a week before kickoff, you don't want nobody hurt. Okay. I mean, you're not going to show you're going to do your base offense, your base defense. This is a final check on learning. You see, yep. He is a starter, or nope, maybe uh, that maybe number two guy should be a number one. Or uh, maybe there's somebody that you want to put on the JV. Exactly. Play on the varsity. You know, but when's the first scrimmage? Well, before the first scrimmage, talk about Saturday. Saturday is hit day. Oh, this Saturday. This Saturday. This Saturday. Eight. That's right. Eight all oh, this, this Saturday is hit day. I forgot all That's that. where you're going to see the separating between the contenders and the contenders. And then, of course, we're going to roll into the scrimmages the following week, next week. And you can looking at the. 12th, that's against Pine Forest at Polk County at Rath Both of them are home. At 8 30. Um, 8.30. Well, it starts at no, 6. It's going to be finished at 8.30. 6 p.m. Uh, is the start of that scrimmage. And August 12th. August 12th. And then the 14th uh, against Southern League. And of course, you scrimmage with Southern League every year since, uh, you know, that's where Coach Parrish came from. Where well, that's came good. From. I mean, they're working. Well, he went from Hope to Southern Lee and then Southern Lee back to Hope. Well, he did have a, a scrimmage scheduled with Lee County, who uh, is a little bit larger school. Right. But uh, he doesn't want to go back to back. And I sort no, of. No, I don't blame him. I think two is enough. And like I said, this is a week before kickoff. Man. Can you imagine getting out of scrimmage and somebody gets hurt? Like, you know. Right. Uh, you, you pretty much know what you got. Yep. I mean, he knows even now. He's got to do that confirmation and check on learn. All right. Uh, let me see. What else we got? I just want to mention, oh, let's, let's stay on football. Mm -hmm. I'm just trying to do a where are they now. I'm going to do it hopefully for next week's paper. You can help me with this. Mm -hmm. We've got several players from the Hope County Bucks who are playing at the next level. Right. we got one playing at the very next level. Get some tickets. Um, and I just want to mention them. Tyree Max playing for Eastern, Eastern Michigan. Michigan. Christian Russell playing for Ole Miss. Tobias Edge Campbell, Appalachian State. Yeah, Division one. Antonio Peterkin obviously will be a freshman at Winston-Salem State, so we're not sure yet if he'll play. Michael Aaron will be at UNC Pembroke. I can't remember where Jamal Darden is. Where did well, he go? Got Baldwin, too. And Baldwin. I don't know where Baldwin is. Baldwin and, and, and uh, Darden and Darius Wirt is at Fayetteville State. Darius Wirt's at Fayetteville State? Mm -hmm. What about Demetrius Wirt? He's on the team. He's at uh, Donovan. Donovan's on the team. It's Demetrius Wirt. All right. I thought he went to uh, A and T. No, Lenore Ryan. I'll have to check. That's why I'm asking. I think Demetrius Work went to Lenore Ryan. Okay. We're not missing anybody. Coach Parrish, though. You remember? No, we'll, we'll follow the list. How far are we going back? Two years? No, anybody playing in college? Well, okay. Anybody? Yeah, we'll track that up. All right. Maybe we'll get uh, somebody on the show. Yep. Oh, and uh, well, obviously now because they're reporting in the camp. Oh, you got Detrez Newsom. He's not playing anymore, is he? Detrez Newsom is at. Uh, no, Detrez. He's he in his sophomore year at uh, Western Carolina. Oh, West starting Carolina. running back. He yeah. should be starter this year. Yeah, he started to look. Oh, he played a lot last yeah, year. He's got Double a lot touchdowns. Of time. Double yeah. TDs. Don't forget the D-Train. D-Train's coming. Tell you what, D-Train's. All right, what else we got? Uh, I wanted to mention soccer tryouts. They had 55 people out there for soccer. Coach Colin McDavid is in his second year. Let me know when the girls are playing. They spring, play in right? the spring. Yeah. All right. And uh, racing. You want to do racing? Well, let's get to the Rock of Hope. It is very easy, ladies and gentlemen. Fast Eddie Daniels in the Legends, three in a row going for win number four. Unstoppable. And if it's not Fast Eddie Daniels, then we're talking about Billy Gomez Jr., who's consistently been second. So we're going into week 12 this week, right? Week 12. Yeah, week 12. 11 races in the book. And Eddie Daniels has nine, nine wins. Nine wins. Nine wins. Nine. And Billy Gomez Jr. has the other two. So the point We keep talking about somebody rising up in the Legends, Michael McDonald. Saw him last week, finished third. Uh, it was Miller Automotive night. Yeah. I'll tell you, somebody else other than, don't be surprised if you, you see someone else other than Bass Eddie or Billy Gomez Jr. 
uh, in the winter circle for the legends race. We, we because these them. guys, it's kind of like a dog. You kick a dog so long, they get tired, man. Yep. And, and they're starting to they're starting to round up. Uh, uh, 600s in the 270s, and then we'll wrap it up. Well, 600s in the 270s, you know, Matt Jones is still leading there. Is but, there anybody contending to take Well, the thing, different winner every week in the 600s. So but Matt Jones is still out there. I think he finished second. Okay. Um, in the 270s, uh, he had a little fender bender out there. And then, of course, Kimberly Oxenheim still ahead in points. Yeah, but it was Yoko. very, it was special. Andrew Yoko won the uh, 270. Right. Yeah. But that was his second time winning. Okay. Uh, what was special is he had a double burnout. William Brown in the pro card and Levi Brown in the pro men. Father son duo. Father son duo. They did a double burnout. It was pretty cool. Uh, so that, that was sort of special. Is that on the smash circle. of the week? That's what well, was in the winter circle. Okay, winter and the circle. smash of the week is also in there. All right. uh, that involved uh, Matt Jones, the number 14. But he was able to continue in the race, which right. was good. What's this week, Saturday? This week is Clicks Nursery. Okay. Uh, the thing you want to keep in mind, it's going to be a little bit cool because we talked about the weather. 80s. In the 80s. So this is going to be nice. Good night to come, y'all. Uh, you know, I'll tell you what, if you're not making your way out to the Rock of Hope and seeing these races, you're missing. And, and you talk about the special human interest stories. you got father sons out there. Uh, the girls. The girls. Uh, 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 what's the uh, oxen dying. Yeah. And, uh, and man, young kids, yeah, nine year olds, it is so year hard olds, to, eight, 50 year olds. It's so hard to win a race, man. And it I was is. talking with Tim Nye. Not the Tim Nye, time. he's making adjustments to his car. He's almost late for the driver's meeting. And I'm sitting there talking with him, and he's trying to make adjustments, fine tune. Of course, he won. But it's amazing, man. And he comes all the way down from Mooresville. That's a three hour drive. It's about time to go, man. Yeah, we're going to wrap up. Going on this weekend. Uh, don't forget it's hit day for Hope County hit football day, Saturday. Saturday morning. We'll be out there for that. We'll have all the video on the sports page for that. And then of course the racing, the Rock of Hope. All right. Well, Clicks right. Nursery. Yeah. Uh, week 12. And I'll tell you what, a lot of races, the 270, the Legends, the 600. It's going to be exciting, man. We're going to have a good time. Look for our coaches show. We're going to have a special guest next week. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll have some fire department folks out here. And we're, we're hoping so we'll to be get skipping a, between uh, the scrimmages. And then the What's Happening Hope Show, and then we'll go to another scrimmage. And then we got a special guest on the sports segment that you're going to want to hear about when these mod lights come. So yes. check us out on YouTube, Facebook, just search What's Happening Hope. Like and subscribe to both channels. For Glenn Young, Hal Nunn, y'all have a good day. See you next week.